the largest in the cruiser's yacht's family, the 60 Fly is the brand new addition for 2017. Powered by twin Volvo Penta IPS 950s, it gets on plane in 16 seconds, can reach a top speed of 38 miles per hour, and has an optimal cruise speed of 28 miles per hour at 2100 RPM. Back at the dock, the design and engineering touches continue to impress, starting with the Lazarette. Space for cleaning gear, for water toys, folding chairs. Put a little bed in here, make it a jail cell for when your kids are out of line. The flybridge has a large fold-out table aft and multiple loungers surrounding the helm, all concealing storage. And there's an entertaining space up here as well, including a grill, a cooler, and a sink. Now the helm on the 60 Fly is well appointed up on the fly bridge and it's set back a little bit. It's on the center line. That means you have great sight lines all the way around, but by setting it back, you're in the conversation with either of these loungers that flank the side. And that's because Cruisers knows most of their clients are owner operators, meaning if you own the boat, you're the one driving it. You don't have a captain. So you wanna be left out of the party sitting up here and driving it while all the fun's happening right here the captain is involved in the conversation or argument. And what there will be arguments over is who gets to sit here. That forward facing lounger is prime passenger seating. It also gives you a good look at the Portuguese style bow with the walkthrough bench seating and the chaise lounge sun pads that have pop-up backrests. Cockpit is always important. This is the classic entertaining and sitting space when underway. Now, underneath these cushions is storage. And when I say storage, I don't mean somewhere you can throw a life jacket. I mean the kind of storage where you can fit this kind of fender. And in the main salon where you are flooded with natural light thanks to the huge windows and you're secure from the elements. But if it's a beautiful day, like it is here in central Florida, you can lock the door open no worrying about canvas, which I love. Lower the window down, and then the aft galley design, which is great for entertaining inside on colder nights, is now a perfect entertaining area out in the cockpit. The main salon is wrapped with large windows, and the galley aft design leaves a lot of room for the port side dinette and the starboard side couch behind the helm. The helm featuring dual Raymarine touchscreen displays controls for the Seakeeper gyro stabilizer, and the dual yacht-style helm seats. The master bedroom is gorgeous, full beam with an island berth. Obviously, there's a ton of storage down here as well, drawers, cabinets, including underneath the bed. You even have a small little fridge here for your bedside shampoo, water and juice in the morning. And when you head out almost to the door, you have a gigantic hanging locker with more drawers and a ton of storage. Now, if you're watching this and say, I like the 60 Fly, but there's not enough storage, I say you have too much stuff. Moving forward, we come to the VIP stateroom. Now in here, you'll find a queen size bed. And of course, there's more storage all over the place and drawers underneath the bed. But you might be saying, hang on now, Bull, you've been banging on about a ridiculous amount of storage. Drawers don't cut it you, I say, walk-in closet, a proper walk-in closet. But this is a three stateroom layout. And here in the guest stateroom, you have twin bunks, or if you prefer an actual twin bed, this lower bunk will slide out, plenty of room for your guests. Now, sadly, we have to give this one back to its rightful owner, but I think we got time to watch an episode. This Saturday, we launched the all-new 2017 season by driving through the desert in search of the mecca of everything PWC.